What's up guys, today we are going to be doing a demonstration of how to wire a fire alarm, uh, horn strobe or red strobe or horn only, um, on 9 volts and then wire it with a pull station to activate the device. So let's get into the video. So the main thing you need for this um, are three 9 volt batteries to run a 24 volt DC uh, horn strobe, red strobe, etc. So I've got three of them. Really any 9 volt works as long as it's alkaline. I've had other ones that aren't alkaline like die right on the spot. Um, these are just Kitta. I got them when I got like a bunch of smoke alarms and they're not fully topped off. But um, they'll work. And 9 plus 9 plus 9 is 27, but most alarms have like a 21 to 30 volt uh, voltage range. Usually it's not just set 24. Um, so it doesn't really matter if you're like a volt or two off. And I know all, some fire alarm control panels can also put out a higher voltage than the voltage um, it's supposed to put out. Like it's the NACs are supposed to put out 24 volts, but it might put out 27 volts, which is what one of my panels puts out. Now, the second thing you're going to need are some little pieces of wire. I have these ones that have clips on them. It just makes it easier and also good to have two different colors, although you don't have to have two different colors. Um, and this is just so that you can connect the alarm to the batteries. Now, the most important part of it is the alarm. You need an alarm. And I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to be using the most basic, just two wire fire alarm horn show, but it's a Wheelock AS. Um, had it for a while. Never really used it though. So uh, yeah, we're going to be wiring this up. So the first step you need to do is you're going to take the batteries and connect the negative to the positive on this one. And some of them might hold, some may not. And then like uh, physically, like they'll hold due to grip and friction. And then connect this one just the same so that it slides inside. So positive and negative and positive and negative. So you have one negative one positive. The positive is like the circular one. The negative, I believe, is the um, like the hex, hex, hexagonal. I think it is on most batteries. Um, so now on the back of the device, you'll see there's a positive terminal which will have a red wire and a plus symbol and a negative which has a black wire and a negative symbol. So negative, positive, and that wire right there also tells you. So now we're gonna take our red lead. And just kind of clip it onto the terminal. If you're using actual wires, um, definitely you're going to want to uh, put it under the little plate under the terminal or under the screw. And then you tighten the screw. And then we're just going to connect this one. Okay, let's move this over. We're going to connect the negative to that one. And then just make sure the two wires don't touch when it's connected to the battery so you don't short out the battery. And you're going to clip your positive wire to your positive and then clip your negative to your negative and the alarm will go off. So here we go. So there we go. So that's how to wire up a basic uh, fire alarm setup with just batteries <clears throat> and a horn strobe. So now we're going to get a pull station. I'll be right back with a pull station and we can wire that up. So I'm back with a pull station, and um, just your standard VG12. Make sure you have a conventional one, which is just, you can see there's just a basic switch and two terminals. There's no monitoring module on the inside or on the back. The monitoring module usually looks like a big circuit board or a white box. Um, so yeah, basically you just need to wire this like it's a light switch, and some of you may not know how to do that. So you're going to take... I, I grabbed another little lead, so we're going to take our uh, positive and connect it to one terminal on the pull station, and then connect it to our positive on the alarm, just like that. And then we're going to take our negative and connect it to the alarm again. And then I didn't have another red lead, but this one is our positive, connect it to our pull station. Like so, so the positive through the pull station popped off. There we go. So the positive goes into the pull station from the batteries, goes 
then comes out of the other contact onto the alarm, and then goes onto the batteries, um, back onto the negative. So let's flip our pull station over, and then take our positive and connect positive, take our negative and connect negative, and I have this pull station unlocked. And let's go ahead and pull the pull station. Now, as soon as you reset the pull station, the alarm shuts off since there's no control interface or panel. Um, so we can go ahead and do that again. And close it again. And that is your basic alarm setup. So once again, I feel like this is the hardest thing to comprehend in this whole thing. When you're wiring a pull station, your wire from your positive or negative, but I'm just gonna say positive in this case, positive goes into the pull station on one of the terminals or there are some of them that have little leads coming off the switch, not terminals. And then the other, uh, it come, a, another wire comes off the other contact or terminal and then goes into the alarm on the positive, and then the wire comes off the alarm and goes into the battery on the negative from the other terminal. So you can follow the wires, you can see in, and then it goes to the positive because that's connected to the positive, and then we have our negative connecting to our negative on the batteries. So this is acting like a switch, preventing current from the batteries flowing to the alarms um, until the switch is activated. That closes the circuit and allows the power to flow to the alarm. Anyway, guys, I hope this tutorial helped you understand how to wire up a fire alarm. And um, I think that's it. So please rate, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. Tell me if you want more tutorials. And peace out.